Here are the magic item in taking Centaur's four. One, two, three, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Lexapro. The last one is Abilify. On their medications, they made me feel as if I had a thousand bricks on my head. They are tiny witnesses who came out of the shadows to tell and show us the mountain of potent drugs, antidepressants, antipsychotic drugs they were given in America's foster care system. I was just a zombie. An indictment of what the U.S. government does to some of the most vulnerable children in this country. We have spent a year investigating a horrible secret. Tens of thousands of foster care children, even infants, given powerful, mind-altering drugs that at times in doses and combinations considered too risky even for adults. And remember this statistic. Foster children are given these potent drugs at an alarming 13 times the rate of other children. Tomorrow, a government GAO report will paint a portrait of a grotesque failure to protect foster children. <coughs> Consider the case of seven-year-old Brooke, taken from a drug-addicted mother, just 43 pounds, but given five mind-altering drugs at the same time, a combination that is deemed too risky even for adults. Brooke, you need to get down. Come here, Brooke. And foster parents who want to help soon learn that if they don't give medications, the child can be taken away. We were told to put our faith in a system, and that's what we did. No one said the medications could be causing the problem. They kept saying she needs more medications. But in Brooke's case, one doctor, a psychiatrist, recognized the problem. And Brooke went from this being weaned off the strongest medications to this. No adult should be receiving the, the drugs uh, that, that different uh, variety, but certainly not at these ages. The GAO report, which found in some cases psychotropic drugs were given to infants, even though there is no idea what the long-term effects of these drugs could be on a child's developing brain. And the report found in five states alone out of 100,000 foster kids, 26,000 were on some form of psychotropic drugs. How is it happening? When you don't have the time, the quick rush to judgment is the answer is a pill. You know, I worked for five years in the Texas foster care system as a court-appointed special advocate, CASA, and I was still in the pharmaceutical industry at that time, and I started to see how the children that were, you know, just had a bad rap in life and got placed in the system were literally a profit center for psychiatric drugging. And because of the Texas um, medication algorithm project that we had here, they were getting not only, you know, major psychiatric drugs, but the most expensive drugs that were on the market and the tax.